Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who bore the creator of all things. You became the mother of your maker, and you remain forever virgin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, on this memorial of the presentation of our Blessed Mother at the temple, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father and intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will possess Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and he will again choose Jerusalem. Silence all mankind in the presence of the Lord. He stirs forth from his holy dwelling. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. For he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The Almighty, the Almighty has, has done, done great, great things, things for me, me and, and holy, holy is, is his, his name. name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy, holy is, is his, his name. name. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers to Abraham and his children forever. The Almighty, Almighty has, has done, done great, great things, things for me, me and holy is his, his name. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside, wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside, asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand towards his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. A few points to clarify first. One, brothers and sisters are often used in words and connotations of cousins. Abraham and Lot are called brothers, and yet they have different parents thereof. The same with those that are often described as being Jesus' brothers. They then are deterred to, hey, this is their mother, not blessed mother. Two, we also hold the fact that Jesus is an only child because at the cross, he gives the Blessed Mother over to John, the beloved disciple. Had he actual blood-related siblings, it would be, by Jewish custom, tradition, culture, their responsibility to now watch over their mother since both the mother's husband and the mother's eldest son had both perished, and he doesn't do that. So we're either saying that all of these brothers died in the span of a year, or their cousins. But two, to that point, we also look back to the Annunciation and the the time in which the the Archangel blesses Mary with that great mission. And he tells her, Hail, full of grace, you have been chosen to be the mother of the Savior. And Mary's response is, on the surface, one of the dumbest responses you could respond to such news. She's like, how? How? And it makes no sense to ask that question because she's married and she's preparing to live with her husband. She's in that beginning year of marriage where they're separate and then following that hey together. And so the most obvious answer would be from your marriage to, to Joseph. Just like any king and queen, their kid would automatically be prince or princess. Your kid will automatically then be the savior because I've just told you how this is going to work. The only way this question makes sense is to understand that our mother is not saying, hey, how does having kids work? Our mother is saying, I vowed myself to God as a consecrated virgin. I have already sworn by God not to have children and that my whole body and being belongs to him. So angel, how am I to be a mom and keep this vow. She's discerning. Is this angel from our Lord or from the adversary? And his answer will help her to determine if he helps me keep my vow, I know, okay, cool, from God, let's go. If he asks me to break it, you are a tempter trying to get me to go back on my consecration to our Lord. This is also one of the reasons in which we hold Joseph is also a consecrated virgin because he would go into this marriage knowing, hey, you and your wife, not going to have kids. And the angel's response, of course, is here's how you'll have a child and remain virgin and remain in that consecration. So from this then, in the history and the tradition that the church has kept for 2,000 years, we then hold that Our Lady would have been presented at the temple to be consecrated to God, would have been brought before the temple publicly as a public known fact, this woman, this individual is consecrating her entire self to our Lord. 
This is only further aided by all the language that Luke uses to compare Our Lady to the Ark of the Covenant. And the Ark of the Covenant was solely reserved for God's presence and God's presence alone and nothing else. Our mom and the Holy Spirit through our mom is not saying, hey, we need to all be consecrated virgins. Many of you have been asked to be moms and dads, husbands and wives. Many of you will be still. But we are being asked to have that total devotion and consecration to our Lord in our entire being. To, like our Blessed Mother, be unwavering in giving the whole of ourself to God. Our Lord does not condemn Mary going, hey, who's my mom? He exalts her, saying that she was chosen to do this because she perfectly knew the will of God and obeyed. She's not some kind of biological receptacle that God just randomly picked because, hey, I need a kid. She knew and from the whole of her life has given herself over to only doing God's will in everything. And so from that, from her faith, from her love, unwavering thereof, she is selected to be the queen mother. We then are invited, like her before us, through the Spirit, to have that same devotion and that same consecration, that all we are and all we do may be specifically for Him. And so we're being asked to examine in this final week of ordinary time, where are we dropping the ball on that? Where are we not having parts of our life consecrated to God? Our work, our leisure, our rest, our hardships and grief, time with family and friends, alone time thereof. What part of us do we keep from him? And what part of us is our mother gently encouraging us to give to him? That he, as he did for her, may work his wondrous grace in the whole of our life. And through that, we too may bring the love of God to the world. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. My brothers and sisters, trusting in the love and mercy of our Lord, let us unite our hearts and minds and bring forth to God these petitions. For all the intentions which we hold in the silence of our hearts, and for the intentions and well-being of all EMTs for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for the profound gift of your mercy and love. Please help us by your grace and the intercession of your saints to return the gift of love to our neighbor and to you in all that we are and all that we do. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, 
wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may, by your grace, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one course of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.